with American Horror Story, completely different territory in the second mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. Are you at liberty to say anything about your character? I've been told I can't say anything, but I haven't been told not to say, well, I've just been told I can't say anything. Mm -hmm. And I noticed the, the little dribs and drabs that Ryan is giving out, he's not giving any character names. Mm -hmm. He has yet to say anything about my character, so I don't, I certainly don't feel like I should be the one to do it. I want to tell you everything because I think people are gonna be so excited. He has said that the horrors this season are not of a supernatural element and more mm -hmm. real life. How is it different this season for you? I think this season is much more about the psychological terror mm -hmm. and also about people uh, who have been left uh, or unloved, unwanted in the 60s and just the politics of what happened in the 60s and if I was able to tell you what I was playing it would make a lot more sense but I can't so <laughs> um, but, the, but the time period plays it very heavily into the horror that is happening. You are on Studio 60 <laughs> uh, which still resonates with a lot of TV fans. Mm -hmm. Have you watched Newsroom? I have watched the Newsroom. I'm behind on the Newsroom. Mm -hmm. I've watched like the first four episodes of the Newsroom and I'd like to kill them all because I'm jealous that I'm not on the show. I think it's really annoying. You do fit nicely into a Venn diagram of HBO and Sorkin, though. Is, Thank you. Is there any chance that we could see <laughs> you? He emailed, you know, uh, Aaron Sorkin was the first person to email me. He had seen the movie very, very early on. Um, of, he had seen Game Change, and he wrote me this incredible email. And um, I emailed him congratulating him about the show, and he said, come be on it. But I am waiting for that call, because nobody's called me yet to come by. But he, the man himself, did say, yeah. but, you know, I don't think it was an official anything. He was just probably placating me because I complimented him. <laughs> he probably has no intention of me being on the show at all, but I would love to. People on American Horror Story don't have a very long shelf life. That's true, they don't. So, That's let's true. put it out there. Maybe they let me go and do, I just do a flyby. I just like carry a glass of water in the back, like just and hand it to Jeff Daniels. And be like, you're so amazing. And then I leave. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> yeah, why not? I do that.